All right, good morning. <clears throat> we are at August 28th, 2023. Out here feeding the deer. Um, we've got, um, well, I usually do a little weather, but weather-wise, we're they're talking hurricane coming up from the Gulf and uh, hitting in uh, the the bend of Florida between the west coast and the panhandle and then curving up eastward across apparently across our area here in South Georgia as a tropical storm maybe Wednesday this is Monday morning Maybe a lot of rain, maybe a lot of wind up here. It won't be a hurricane by the time it gets up here. That's a pretty rare event around here to come up across our area. But however, it does happen. So we'll see what we see. We'll record that for you. All right. The, uh, the, the topic this morning that uh, has been settling on my heart i've been watching some videos and been watching some guys out there that are former muslims witnessing jesus to muslims that are not former they are muslims now and uh the topic comes up very quickly between muslims and christians about who exactly jesus is and i think there's no more f serious subject to be talked about than who is jesus and to get specific about it the the christians are convinced that jesus is somehow god uh it's hard to understand it and I'll tell you I came from exactly where the Muslims were I wasn't a Muslim but I could not see how a man could be a God and I struggled with that for years but I kept digging and digging and digging and then one day it I became what they are re referred to as born again and I became convinced that Jesus was divine let's put it that way there's in, in Christian thinking, God is three in one. The Father, the Son, which is Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And that it is possible that Jesus is divine or God. So the question comes up, is Jesus just a man, however a superior man, or is Jesus God? And my thinking on it is that he has to be God and those that recognize Jesus for who he really is are those that are saved so that's the that's the big question how do you guys line up out there on that question I'm not gonna get worried about it because apparently it's Jesus that reveals himself to people when Peter the disciple was asked who do men say that I am he asked he Jesus posed that question the very question that I'm posing now to you Jesus said who who is who do men say that I am so that shows you right there, Jesus thought it was important. You know, who are they saying? And the disciples gave several answers. Some of them thought he was the reincarnation of some of the prophets. And then he asked Peter, who do you think that I am? And Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And of course, any son is going to be the same as his father you know so that that was an admission that peter thought he was god 
And Jesus told him, Peter, you're blessed for seeing that. And flesh and blood did not reveal that to you, but my Father in heaven. So to me, that's Jesus is saying that who he is has to be revealed to people. And if it's not revealed to you, then you're not going to see it ever. And you're going to continue to say, no, Jesus was just a man. So if, if Jesus was just a man, then his sacrifice to save us, to be shed his blood for us as the perfect sacrifice was not a perfect sacrifice because another man, all men have sinned. So if all men have sinned and come short of the glory of God and Jesus was a man, then that means he sinned. He was not perfect, therefore he would not qualify to shed his blood for us. So that's the question. I'm just going to put it out there. That's the question. Is Jesus God? Not God the Father, but God the Son. Or was he just a pretty pretty cool guy that didn't sin much and and uh, somehow or another God allowed him to be able to heal the sick and uh, open the eyes of the blind and actually raise some people from the dead. And then somehow Jesus managed to get himself killed at the exact appropriate hour that the lamb was going to be killed, and you know, in the Jewish uh, holy day of Passover. You know, how did that happen? That he managed to get himself uh, crucified at that at shed his blood for us. So, uh, just to really zero in on it, what do you think? Is Jesus, can he be God or can he be man? Now, I do have a solution for it. To If you would like to know the truth of the matter, which I think it's the truth. Now, that's my truth. And I'm not saying that makes it true, but it's what I believe. Jesus himself said, ask and you will receive now so if you want to find out who jesus is this is how i found out i just finally asked him i said jesus who are you are you god or are you just a man in prayer i asked him one evening while i was uh, about to go to bed or there about to go to sleep and i'd like to know sooner than later i'm tired of messing with it people are telling me that you're god i can't see it I know you're somebody pretty important. I know you're really important. I don't want to be caught saying that you're not God when you really are. Would you please tell me who you are? And the next morning, a very, I'll call it a miraculous thing happened. And I believed that he was God. So I'm saying, if you want to know, ask him. All right, that's it. Gardner Israel, signing off.